from Basharat Wasim Bhai from Kashmir, India. He texts, Assalamu alaikum, Zakir sir. You said in Mumbai that you sleep only for three to three and a half hours. I am also sleeping as less as possible three to four hours a day. But the problem is that all the day I feel lightheaded, I feel drowsy and dizzy. So my question is that do you also feel drowsy, dizzy and lightheaded during the day? And if you also feel the same, then how do you overcome that? Lots of love from Kashmir. Thank you. The question is that yes, I do. When I was in Bombay, I used to sleep on an average of three to three and a half hours. Sometimes even two hours, two and a half hours, sometimes four hours, four and a half hours. On average, three to three and a half hours. When I shifted to Malaysia, when I did Hijra to the beautiful country of Malaysia, I increased my sleep by about half an hour. Now I sleep about three and a half hours to four hours. Sometimes two hours, two and a half hours, sometimes five hours. On average, three and a half to four hours. The question is that the person says that he feels dizzy, he feels lightheaded, he feels drowsy. And do I feel the same and how do I overcome? Alhamdulillah. Most of the time, I do not. Rarely once in a blue moon, maybe once in several months, I may feel, you know, maybe drowsy. But most of the time, Alhamdulillah, I am fresh. But let me tell you as a medical doctor, the normal hours of sleep required for an average adult human being is eight hours. An average human being should sleep at least seven to eight hours. If he sleeps more than nine hours, it is excessive. If he sleeps less than seven hours, it is less. So therefore, you should sleep between seven to nine hours. The best is between seven to eight hours sleep. And scientific research says that anyone who sleeps less than six hours a day cannot function normally. And I agree with that. So let me tell you that I request all the brothers and sisters that you sleep at least six to seven hours a day. This is the best. And it is good that you should sleep. And Allah SWT says that he has made the night for you to sleep. But let me tell you one more thing also. That most of the people who are successful, in whichever field, whether good, bad, ugly, all of them who are celebrities, good, bad, ugly, whether they are film stars, or whether they are businessmen, whether they are the richest billionaires, or whether they are good social workers, or whether they are good Islamic speakers, or religious speakers, all of them, most of them, almost all, they are very hard working and they sleep less. But this is a very small percentage, 0.0001%. Though there is nothing mentioned in the seerah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad who is the best example, about how many hours did he sleep. But when you see his routine, you can make a judgment that the Prophet, it's not possible for the Prophet to have slept for more than four and a half hours or five hours. So according to my study, he may have slept most of the time between three to four and a half, five hours. To sleep more than four and a half hours is difficult because it says that the Prophet prayed the Hajjud, he prayed Qayyamul Lail for one third of the night. So if you calculate all these things and then even if he sleeps early immediately after Isha having food, the time of sleep that are calculated depending upon the season can maximum stretch to about four to five and a half hours and minimum can be lesser than that. So I assume that the Prophet slept between three to four and a half hours. But please let me tell you, there is no Sira that mentions this. It is my own research. Prophet slept less because you know my wife always tells me that the Quran says that the night has been made for you to sleep so it is sunnah to sleep and you should sleep but then I quote the verse of the Quran that blessed are those people and those who attain felicity in the Jannah those who sacrifice their bed for the sake of Allah uh, so it is both of course sleeping is better but if Allah has given you that capacity as far as I am concerned, it is nothing that I am unique. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has blessed me and has blessed all the human beings, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, to make them function normally even if they sleep less for five hours or four hours or three and a half hours. It is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And most of the top scholars and the fuqahas and, you know, we know from the history that they slept very little. And I also sleep less. It is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you feel headache, please do not. It does more damage to your health than good. You may stay awake in the night and sleep less. The productivity of those hours that you are aware is 50% or 25%. Better sleep well and do better productivity four times more than normal. When you are feeling sleepy or twice, my request is please don't try and sleep less. It's better that you sleep. 
What's your requirement? If Allah has given you the capacity, like what Allah has given to me, and then you do, it's no problem. 